I'm 3D Modeler on YouTube and in this tutorial I want to show you how to make some more detail into your models. Now in this tutorial I want to show you two different programs. Um, the first one obviously being 3ds Max. The second one being a program called Modbox. Modbox is a program used to create high resolution on top of a low resolution mesh by using a method called subdivision and what subdivision allows me to do is actually take the current model and dividing it on all the faces so for instance where you have one face with a, as a square when you subdivide that you'll get four squares subdivide that once again you'll get uh, eight squares 16 and so on. So what I will start by doing, I want to create a a face in this uh, tutorial here. So I'll start by creating a uh, a box shape object and this will become the face. So I'll just create three sections here and I'll blow that up to full screen. And there you go. This is the face that I want to work on. And um, I want to pull this up a bit here so that I can create a neck for my person and I'll do this by right clicking the object and convert to an editable poly I want to select the faces and I select the arrow tool and with the arrow tool selected I want to select multiple um, multiple faces and I'll just extrude these and one should be enough yes there you go and I just want to pull this up to be at zero. So there you go, this is the basic shape of a face or a head. Um, so now I want to make this rounder in shape, I'll do this manually. I'll just pull apart different pieces of this. Um, hopefully it will become something similar to a face. And I'll select the insides. Oops. And what you just saw there was the advanced uh, user menu. It, it is uh, shown by Control C. So this is when you are able to edit your models without seeing all the other things in the scene here. Um, I could work like this, but I find it the more I have uh, difficulties with um, doing it without any um, selections uh, uh, or these uh, options at all so I usually uh, keep them on but when you're getting more advanced in the use of the program you can obviously turn them off so basically this will become as I said before the face of the man and I'm just um, using this basic shape here I want to narrow everything in the scene a bit. This is more like a face. And I can obviously go in there and tweak different parts of it further. Um, so um, I'll just uh, keep on working with the model here and I'll be back in a little while. So here I am again. I've obviously not changed it that much and um, the reason for that is I want to show you what I'm doing from here. Um, the third thing you'll notice when you look at the model here that the one side is changed but the other one is not. And I don't change the other side because I want it to be mirrored. I use the modifier called symmetry. It's down here. And I want to mirror it on the Y axis. And obviously I want a bit more so I'll drop down this uh, mirror here and I'll just oops, pull those apart like so and the y-axis here will be zero. So this is... Um, oops, perspective mode is disabled. There you go. So as you can see here, the the side that I was working on is actually mirrored to the other one. That's because of the modifier called symmetry. So I'll just go ahead here and keep uh, modeling in the different parts and extrude them so that it fits better and looks more like a face. Now, 
what I want to keep in mind here, when I'm using this as a low poly model, I want to keep the squares because a triangle will kind of mess up the, the whole mesh. So when I try to edit this, I'll try to keep the, the squares on the face as much as possible. So I'll just go underneath them here. And this is the cut tool, by the way. And I'll just cut just a bit more than the middle. And then I'll start changing the different parts so that it will keep the the shape of the face. And um, you can see a triangle here, but don't worry, I'll get rid of that by making a new cut. Basically this is a way you can do it, but um, obviously this doesn't look that good. Okay, I'll mirror this to flip the other side. There you go, you can now see the changes. So if you don't see the changes right away, you need to realign it by doing that. So as you can see here, we got two no new uh, squares rather than having the triangle here. And just by applying one little change. So I'll just keep on working with the model and yeah, I'll show you the final result in a moment. So, hi, I'm back again and these are the changes that I made. Um, I know this is not perfect um, and there are still some places where it could need some tweaking. Um, I, there's a pole here. As you can see, there are five squares uh, linking up to it. One, two, three, four and five. And here are some weird parts as well and down here. But this is okay. And now I want to show you what the subdivision does. And for this I'll use uh, Turbo Smooth. And as you can see the um, squares become divided and the whole model becomes smoother. And I can use a different installation and it increases the resolution. And this is the way the program that I use works. It divides the squares and gives me higher resolution. And as you can see, because I added more um, squares to the front of the head uh, than to the back, the resolution is higher in the front. And this helps me when I'm doing the the model so that I can keep the parts that doesn't need the higher resolution to be lo low poly or more or less low poly and the other parts higher res. So what I'm going to do now, I want to convert this into another program a format called OBJ. So what I want to do, I want to remove the the symmetry mod, uh, the um, mesh move modifier, and I want to convert it into an editable poly. This will collapse the stack from the modifiers list, and I also want to rotate it to become at, on the x-axis like so. So now it's the x-axis rather than the y-axis, and I also want to link this up on the axis perfectly. I'll do this by affecting the pivot point to center to, to the object. And I'll go back to the model and I'll select the x-axis to be zero. And there you go. So now it's centered perfectly in my scene on the x-axis. And as the last thing I want to rescale this to be a little bit bigger. This will help me in the uh, C, uh, Modbox uh, program. So um, <coughs> now I want to convert it into an edible poly again and I do this just to make sure that everything is saved onto the model and I go to export and I'm exporting this into the my C drive folder and on the 3D models and I select the OBJ format and I have already created a human head I'll just save on top of this and I'll replace it yes and the only thing I want to ha have selected in this scene is the rotation models and I'll press OK. So this is it for the first part of the tutorial and um, so yeah, see you in the next tutorial. I'm 3D Modeler on YouTube, thanks for watching.